I'm Jane, your kitchen GPS. Last time we were together, we navigated our way through cookware. Today, let's talk about getting the most out of those pots and pans by using the right cooking oil. The difference between a beautiful sear and a smoke-filled kitchen often depends on using the right oil. The good news is that there's no need for a bunch of bottles of cooking oil taking up space in your pantry. For the home cook, it's actually pretty simple. First, let's talk about a common misunderstood oil, olive oil. Olive oil is not an all-purpose oil. And the reason why I'm mentioning that is I was one of those misguided, but well-intentioned home cooks who thought it was, well, more healthy to cook with olive oil. Now, I'm not here to debate the health benefits. I'm just saying for cooking, it's not the end all, be all. Olive oil is great for low or medium heat cooking, like sauteing, but it's not meant for frying or high heat cooking. Olive oil has a low smoke point, meaning that it burns really easy and it literally will start to smoke at a low temperature. Bottom line, save your extra virgin oil for salad dressings. The same is true with flavored oils and finishing oils. They're fabulous for drizzling over vegetables and making salad dressing, but not for cooking. Another reason why you don't want to cook with olive oil is that we like it because of its delicate flavor and cooking will actually destroy those flavors. Now, there are several neutral flavored oils that work both well for high and low heat cooking. And those include canola oil, corn, peanut, soybean, sunflower, and vegetable oil. These workhorses can handle deep frying, pan frying, and sauteing. Out of all of these, however, there is a clear winner. May I have a drum roll? Boom! That oil is canola oil. Canola oil is affordable, neutral in flavor, and has a high enough smoke point that it can handle everything from pan frying to searing a steak. Canola oil is versatile, it's practical, and bonus points, it's not very expensive. It can be used in a variety of ways, from baking, to grilling, to stir frying, and it also works well for salad dressings. So there you go. The two oils that you want in your pantry are canola oil for cooking and a good quality olive oil for salad dressing, drizzling, and for flavoring. Next time we get together, we'll discuss the best practices for cooking with oil to get the best results. In the meantime, visit me at impressnotstress.com for more cooking tips and hacks, as well as recipes that are sure to impress, not stress. I'm Jane, your kitchen GPS, helping you navigate your way to delicious meals.